everybody, I'm here today to show you how to program a new key. This is a smart key to a Holden Malibu, also known as a Chevrolet Malibu. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to pretty much read the pin code. But the first thing you have to note is that the ignition has to be turned to the on position. Now this is a push start one. So if I push the start button once, you'll notice you get a one light on the actual cluster or the center, center console unit. Um, what you actually need to do is switch the ignition off again and then push and hold for about 10 seconds or so. There we go, so all the lights now come up on the dash and that's what we need to be able to communicate with this vehicle. So then on the Lons door we're going to select immobilization. For this vehicle we're going to go under Chevrolet. We're going to select China. Malibu. First thing I'm going to do actually is read the pin code. So under Chevrolet China, there's a read pin code option. This one here, we're going to select the first option, which is read pin code type 6 read via BCM. Once you select that, it'll start to communicate with the vehicle. pull all the data out of the actual OBD as it needs and then it will start to actually calculate and read the pin code for you. So as you can see this one spat out a pin code of 5928. The Lonsdor tool will just remember that so we don't really need to but 5928 is the one we've got. Go back a menu and then we're going to select Malibu. We're going to select 2015 and under. This is about a 2013 model to my knowledge. Next step, immobilizer or smart key. We're going to use smart key, of course. And then we have a bunch of different options here. Now, for safety, to make sure that you do have the correct system, probably the easiest way, with the ignition turned on, to read the key count to see how many keys we have in this system. Ignition is on. Current key count is two. Now, I have one genuine key here, and I am programming one new key to the vehicle, so there's probably one key missing from this system. So we're just going to be adding a smart key for this particular vehicle. Now as it does stay here, turn on the ignition switch. Please do not press the brake. Hold down the start button for about 8 seconds until the dash is fully lit up. As you can see, the dash is now fully lit up and the start stop button has a green light. So we need to make sure that that is correct. Alrighty, now insert smart key to be programmed into key slot. Um, take other smart keys outside a vehicle. So generally the smart key slot lies under the armrest box, under the cup holder, beside the ashtray, or sometimes in the hand buckle box, which is probably irrelevant in Australia. So what we're going to do for this vehicle, in the center console here, there's a center console compartment and down inside here there's a little slot that you can insert a key into now each vehicle is a little bit different but this is a Chevrolet Malibu so this is the slot right here so insert the key and then on the tool we're gonna hit OK you can tell us the current keys ask us to input the pin code as the tool is remembered 5928 make sure that it is correct and now we're going to have about a 10 minute count in timer. So I'm going to pause this video and come back in about nine and a half minutes. Alrighty, so our count in timer has now come up. So press the start button twice within five seconds, wait for two seconds each time and click OK to continue. So once, twice, click OK to continue. So now we have a key count of three. As I said before, we did have a key count of two. So that's successfully been added. Do we wish to program any more? That's a cancel or a no. So we just gotta wait for the count out timer. So that count out timer is now expiring. Press and release the start button. 
press and hold the start button until the dash lights up. So once again, about 15 seconds, but it's not picking that one up. So what I'm going to do quickly, just grab this out. Yep, we eventually got the dash to light up there. It took a little bit more work than I thought, but... What I ended up having to do there was insert, take the key out of the actual key slot and then insert it back in. It says, press the start button and switch ignition off, then click OK to continue, so... Let's turn this off properly, there we go. Click OK to continue. Open and close driver's door. Now it says to make sure all electrical components or appliances here are off. What it means by that is this center dash unit here will be lit up if you have not opened and closed the driver's door correctly. Click OK to continue. It's going to configure, take about 30 seconds or so. Remove the key and press the lock and unlock button together, and then release, so... Okay. As you can see, we have a programmed remote now. We even have a panic button, just to show you quickly as well. So the original remote we have here does not have a panic button, but we have actually just used a remote that does have a panic button. And we now actually have a panic feature in this vehicle. So a lot of vehicles in Australia actually have this feature removed from the remote when you first get them, but um, it is an applicable, applicable feature for this vehicle. So just to confirm that everything's good now with the new key, we can now start the car as you can see. and we can lock and unlock the vehicle there. Just to confirm, with the original as well, locks and unlocks, and does start the vehicle. So we have now added a key for a 2012-2013 Chevrolet Malibu. Thanks.